very honored uh, to do this welcome address. And I would like to tell you how this all began. Maybe you don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm sure all of us, especially the academic community, know that St. Scholastica's College, since 1975, has adopted the Education Trust for Justice and Social Transformation. All the students here and faculty, they can tell you that uh, verbally, orally, all about what the St. Scholastica's Education for Justice is all about. Now, in the 90s, uh, we thought that as a part of the social orientation, we have to uh, mainstream gender in the academy. Uh, as you know now, the chair has given that mandate in 2005-15 that all tertiary education must have a gender mainstreaming. Well, we antedated them by, by decades, isn't it? And I remember as dean of college, I gave a gender awareness seminar to all the units, all the departments of the college uh, unit, and the response was very positive. But one of the most positive responses was, was done by the MASCOM department. They not only made their courses gender sensitive, they offered courses that are really specifically gender, like gender and media. And then I think they thought, it is not enough to inculcate in our students social orientation and gender sensitivity. We must award, we must positively affirm those who are actually practicing the values that we are teaching. And that's why 13 years ago, the Hildegard Award was established. And I'm so happy that so many of the practitioners now in, in the Philippines have been awardees of uh, St. Scholastica's College. Now, um, in this administration, I think these uh, journalists and these media practitioners who are socially oriented and gender sensitive, I think they are an endangered species. You see that, no? How they are persecuted, how, how so many things they are uh, arrested and all that. So all the more they are needed in our times because who will fight the creeping militarization? Who will fight against the growing tyranny? Who, who will have the courage to come out in protest or in critique of what is happening in our government? That's why I congratulate our awardees because they have the courage to do this in spite of the threat to their lives maybe. And I think that they are giving a very good example because I always say fear is very um, contagious but courage is more contagious. So when these women are showing courage yes. in the way they they practice their career, socially oriented and gender sensitive. I think they are inspiring so many people to also have courage and to stand out and speak out against corruption, against all the injustices that we are experiencing in our times. So I not only congratulate her and I am inviting all of us to honor them, I also think we should express our full support our, and our solidarity with this endangered species. So congratulations again, more power to you. And to all of you, have a very pleasant afternoon. Thank you.